Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's take a look at all the places that Premiere Pro puts files. So a shout out to Dan LaSouza who asked quite a while ago, he asked for me to, to put together a list of all the places that Premiere Pro puts files. And uh, it took a long time for me to finally get that information out. The engineers at Adobe don't want you poking around in these areas, um, mainly because you'll probably cause more problems uh, than not. But I'm, I'm going to show you where all these files are kept. Of course, you go to these locations when Premiere Pro is not running and then relaunch Premiere Pro. If you remove stuff completely, Premiere Pro will usually just create new blank default things of whatever you're moving. But uh, it can be very useful for things like keyboard shortcuts. If you've created a bunch of custom keyboard shortcuts and you want to move those to a different uh, location, um, this is the place where they're kept. So let's go have a look. All right, as I said, thanks to Dan for uh, asking for this. And the first place we're going to look at is where Media Encoder export presets are. And I'm showing you both Mac and Windows versions of where they are. So on Windows, it's in the users under your username, app data, roaming, Adobe, common, AME. You can see once you get past a certain spot, um, then the, the location is the same for both uh, backslashes ver uh, versus slashes in the Mac. But this is where the presets are kept and you can uh, copy them, move them around, uh, do whatever you want, you can save to these presets from Media Encoder. And these are the same um, presets you'll see if you're exporting out of Premiere Pro. It uses this same location. All right, next up, Premiere Pro effects presets. Uh, they're .pr, P P -R -F -P -S -E -T files. And they're in the Premiere Pro location. So wherever you have Premiere Pro located in your applications folder on Mac or Windows, there's a plugin folder in there, common folder, and effects presets. So if for whatever reason you need to get to them, that's where they are. Next up is the Premiere Pro sequence presets. And this is filled up by default uh, by Adobe. They're installed in this location. So you can see, it's in the documents of both Mac and Windows. There's an Adobe folder, a Premiere Pro folder, and the version number here I'm using is 13, but if you're looking at this later on, uh, then it'll be 14, 15, whatever in the future, but you'll you'll see the, that folder in there. And there's a profile with your username in, in there are settings, and you'll see a whole pile of presets uh, in there. Okay. Next up is the Premiere Pro preference file. This is the nasty thing that you, you want to delete um, when things go bad. You know, when you hold the option and uh, option and shift on Mac, uh, Alt and shift on Windows and uh, delete this. But this is where your preferences file. Also in the documents folder, Adobe Premiere Pro, the version number, profile, username. So your prefs are also in that same location. This is where the keyboard shortcuts are saved. So once you save them, they will be a .kys file. And you can see that location there, both again in the documents folder of Mac and Windows, the same profile username. Um, and you can see in the Windows, there's a Win folder and the Mac, it's a Mac folder. And lots, I've got a whole tutorial about, um, I, I show you one of these locations, but I'm telling you about two locations of how you can drop in a bunch of creative and technical LUTs and then use those in the Lumetri uh, color panel. So by default, in the library and in, in the Mac, you have to actually hold down the option key when you, when you click the go menu to get in there uh, because Apple hides it. There are ways you can show it, but in the library folder, application. So this isn't the library folder of the user library. There's two and it can be a bit confusing, but it's in that library folder, application support, Adobe, common, LUTs, 
and then Creative Technical. And uh, again, on Windows, in the program files, Adobe Common. So there's a common folder in the program files, Adobe, to put that. The user library, so an individual can have their own set of LUTs that does not affect other users. And that is in the user library application support, Adobe Common Creative Technical. And on the Mac, or on Windows, it's in the app data, uh, which again, just like the library, is a hidden uh, location. But if you type that uh, into, so your username, and then if you type backslash app data, backslash, boom, it'll open that folder. You make a, a uh, uh, if you add that to your, your uh, quick uh, locations on the side of uh, Windows Explorer, you can get to it again. The Premiere Pro and After Effects plugins. So this is when you um, are adding third-party plugins and installing them. This is the location that they'll they'll uh, be located for both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Doesn't mean that you can use all of After Effects plugins in Premiere Pro. Uh, just means this is where things are loaded. And for the Premiere Pro, they're .prm. For After Effects, they're .aex files. So it, on Windows, it's in the program files, Adobe Common Plugins, 7.0 Media Core. So that seven will not change. Uh, and again, on the Mac, it's in the hidden library application support, Adobe Common Plugins, Media Core. So that's where they are. And the last one that I wanna show you is where the audio plugins um, are, are stored by default. And on Windows, they're in, uh, by default in these three locations or can be. Uh, Steinberg is the company that invented the VST format. So that's why you'll see Steinberg come up. Uh, VST has just been a widely supported audio plugin format, uh, you know, forever. Uh, so Adobe uses that. So you can see here uh, in the program files on Windows, there's a Steinberg folder, a VST plugins folder, and a common files folder. And on the Mac, it's again in the library, um, audio plugin VST. But the good thing about this is you have less to worry about. This is the only one where you can manually create a new directory, put anything in there, and then point Premiere Pro to that directory. Let me show you that. So in Premiere Pro, in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, preferences, audio, down at the bottom, audio plugin manager, Up at the top are the VST plugin folders. So here you can add any folder in here. So you can create a specific folder. And then once you add it in, you can scan for the plugins. You can enable which ones you want and which ones you don't want. Um, I also um, am a musician, so I use Cubase that has a ton of virtual instruments. So when I'm on my other powerful uh, computer over there, my desktop computer, it has literally thousands of musical instruments that I never want Premiere Pro to see. So I disable all of the, I'm not about to play a grand piano inside Premiere Pro. But the audio plugin manager is fantastic because you don't have to know or even figure out where your third party audio effects plugins are gonna go. You can install them wherever they want. Not all of the audio effects third party installers put them in the same place. Some will just stick them right into the VST plugins folder. Some will put them in their own folder in the program files or the application uh, folder. So. Um, you have to find out where they are, or sometimes the installers will give you a choice of where you want to put them in. So you could pick one of the existing directories or make your own and use the plugin manager and scan for those. And you only have to do this once. All right, there you go, Dan. Now, hopefully you're going to go poke around uh, behind Premiere Pro's back. Uh, you know, uh, just be careful what you're doing. These things are not really meant for you to be poking around back in there. Premiere Pro is supposed to be taking care of them. But again, things like the keyboard shortcuts, it's a great way to save that file uh, and put that on other computers. All right, if you're new to video reveal and you found information like this informative, this kind of thing I do all the time, then uh, take a moment and subscribe so you'll get notified of more cool stuff. Ring the bell so uh, you get notified too uh, when I post new videos. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. 
Uh, there's a link in the description of this video, one on the front of the channel. We love our PayPal supporters, you're wonderful. And when you do uh, sign up as a PayPal supporter, you'll get extra goodies. So it's uh, useful to do that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to your requests and find all the right answers.